What's going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, back here again with a new episode of Bullpen Banter. Alongside me, as always, is my co host slash associate. We'll call him a co hostiate. Chris, they aka re- Millennium OS. They refer to me as the cargo killer. Sure. Yeah, you, why not? You kill stuff that comes by train and boat? No, no. Car go. As in Carlos Gonzalez, the true winner of the bullpen bunter home run derby. I don't know how he's going to be the true winner when we haven't even had it yet. He's already the true winner. He's winner by default. Um, uh, Yeah. So a lot of votes for me. That's what I'm saying. Here's the trick. I feel like when they replied to me, they used my name. So that means that I was technically the default winner. See how I tricked them? They didn't even know they were picking me. But they are. So every time that they tagged you in a reply that counts as a vote towards you, I'm not sure that's how this works. I believe that's how that should work. Uh, let me tell you about something that happened. Uh, I was playing a game last night with my terrible, terrible team. I forget which team I was grind- grinding with, and I lost. I was very upset. But today, I came back. I'm back into the 1720s. I'm so excited. Can I tell you that grinding with the Atlanta Braves, because I'm really high on that Atlanta, or the uh, Jeff Francoeur, I want to platoon him with Jim Edmonds on my Diamond Dynasty team. Oh, I'm very low on Jim Edmonds to start with. I'm a fan. I, as a lefty outfielder, good defense, mashes righties. I don't know what else you can ask for. But, uh, Michael, yeah, can't Michael hit. Michael Brantley? But Jim Edmonds has elite power. Uh, like. 80s Michael contact, Riley? 90s power. No, 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 no. So, and big time arm. I don't know if I believe you. I don't. I don't know if I believe any of this. So what I did was I went out instead of just using the normal 40 man for the Braves, I went out and bought the Andrelson Simmons rookie. Who again, somehow or another, Andrelson Simmons is my Diamond Dynasty MVP for like life. I all I do is hit with him, including for power. I hit two home runs for him in the last two games grinding. Um. I also bought the Omar Infante and the Miguel Miguel Prado? No. Martin. Martin. Martin Prado. There you go. And have them at second base and third base. And the rookie Hayward, the silver Hayward, is out in my outfield. So at least I have a chance with them now. Mm. Did you get that uh, You get that McCann? Did not buy the McCann. Uh, wanted, didn't want to go overboard. I'm not going to spend tw- uh, 20 plus K stubs on a catcher that I'm not going to use. I've already got Yogi Berra and Carlton Fisk. Here's your problem. You should be using him. I, I don't know. I, I like him. Don't get me wrong. But the defense that Berra brings and the defense that Fisk brings. Oh, and I've got the Posey. All three of them defensively, I think, are better than the McCann, So Who needs defense when you're putting up offense? How many times have I said it before? That's my I question. Mean, All the that, time. Is, that is your... Slogan, no, motto, no, yeah, no defense. <laughs> Look, uh, who are we talking about here? Uh, Brian McCann. Brian the McCann. The rookie catcher, McCann, is it? Yeah, catcher slash first baseman. Right. I wonder how he shows up in my stats. Okay. Uh, 83. He has. He is the only catcher with 80 plus contact versus lefty and righty and 60 plus power versus lefty and righty. I'm just saying. Is that... Yeah, I guess I guess eighties with the eighties contact, yeah, because I know Posey's got high contact but doesn't have the power. Um, I guess I guess his defense isn't terrible, but with an eighty-eight arm strength, but that's seventy blocking. I don't know. I guess I guess he could play. The twenty-four speed gets me too. You know, I have to have at least fifty speed on my guys. So, uh, EJ NFL twenty-four in the chat. Edmonds is amazing. Absolutely. Uh, I also just changed one of the delays, so if someone could let us know if we're talking over each other, that would be great. C Cubs King, f- how's it going in the chat? Lots of uh, <laughs> delays tonight. I don't even know what that means. Because there's going to be multiple people on. I know, we're going to have, uh, well, I only have to set the delay once. We should do that thing where I go 1, 2, and you go 3, 4. I thought it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the one that we have more people. 1, 2... All right, great four or job. five, With, right? Great job. Uh-huh. All right, folks. We know you've missed us, and we've missed you very much. Uh, yes. Uh, 
C dubs the king. We are watching the real one. I don't know what's happened. All I know is Adam Duvall's a beast. I know they're in the uh, semifinals right now. Uh, Mike Stanton looks like he's not even trying, and he's <laughs> hitting balls real far. Uh, I know Cano didn't do well. Uh, Seeger had a 454 footer. I know that for a fact. I remember seeing that to get it up and going as we talk now. Now, bat, uh, Trumbo's batting right now in round two, I believe. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you've been doing uh, anything? Uh, you've been doing anything great other than your grinding with the Braves? I have. I picked up a new battle royale team, and I. Didn't waste. I used a gold on the Francisco Rodriguez, the rookie flashback closer for the Angels. Mm-hmm. K Rod is a beast. Uh, apparently, um, apparently, the finals are uh, Giancarlo Stanton versus Todd Frazier. There we go. Oh, uh, I see where we're at. Uh, we're, Trumbo, the MLB is um, behind, it looks like. The longest home run for, was it 479, it looks like? Uh, so No. In the real one? Gene the Carlos real Stanton, one. Giancarlo Stanton won 497. No, oh, there you go. So it's Frazier versus Stanton coming into the finals. Trumbo is hitting some bombs, though. That's why I'm very Yeah, I mean, I think derby. they're all hitting bombs at this point. I, I love to watch it. I, I'm not, I don't really get into the whole if you're in the home run derby, you're wasting swings or you're, or you're going to screw your swing up for the rest of the year. Well, don't forget, David Wright did pretty much ruin his career in a home run derby. Oh, no, I absolutely get that. Well, all I'm saying, though, is I don't think I buy into the fact that that's the reasoning. Because um, it doesn't happen to everybody. You'd think that everybody that went there would happen. Well, some guys aren't really built for a home run derby, yet they think they are for some reason. <laughs> that, everyone wants to keep seeing Manny go, and I'm like, I don't want to see Manny go. Manny, I want Manny swinging his line drive bat. I don't want him swinging his home run bat. Well, he went a couple years ago, right? Uh, Yeah, he did. I don't. I don't remember how he did. Um, and he's got a home run swing. Don't get me wrong. It's just whoa. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> Stan, Stan hitting ball. Can you imagine standing where that pitcher is right now, um, with that screen, and Stanton hitting a ball directly at your head? Because that's just what happened. It hit the screen. Don't get me wrong, but I would probably jump like there was a gunshot. <laughs> well, that's why he has the uh, the big fence in front of him, so he doesn't get. Killed. Well, yeah, but still, I mean, it just normal reflexes would tell you, hey, I need to get, get out of here. I'm out. Uh, I've actually been using the guy we'll be using tonight, Adam Duvall, uh, in a little home run derby practice. I kind of want to start using him, like, in the real game. He, he's got a ton of power. I know that. Um, kind of a Chris Davis clone in terms of low vision, though, right? Yeah, he's only got 29 vision. Uh, but he's got those IE boosts right now, giving him plus 15 across the board. Jeez, nice. Which, which well... Plus 15 across the board, except for power versus righties, because you can only get plus 12 to be 99. Oh, God. He's on an IE boost right now? Yeah. Up to 99 power versus righties and 96 versus lefties. How is he on an IE boost right now if he's not playing? Hey, man. Maybe they just left the guys on good one on the last one. That is weird, and not sure that I agree with all that. Or it's still technically from last night. From Sunday, okay, gotcha. That would be my guess. Uh, uh, no, well, last night's update would have been from Monday's games. Right? Um, sure, but maybe they just left it. Yep, he's definitely, it says uh, versus Tom Kohler, who who he played against on Sunday, I believe, so. Yeah, uh, but yeah I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this thing with, uh, with Duval tonight. We'll see. And the kids will say it will be lit. <laughs> Yeah, EJ NFL says that they left it from the previous game. Uh, gotcha. I, why not just wipe it out? And then have not have things for the next week? I mean, yeah. I, no, absolutely. Have no inside edge for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hey, that's something right? you think is a good idea. Well, why would you? I mean... Or give the, yeah. hall, give the uh, hall of Famers, give the All-Stars the an edge. Well, I mean, maybe, but who are you going to put the pitching against? You can't tell who the hitters are going to hit against, so... It doesn't matter. You just yeah, put them I'm saying. Just put everybody up. I think the idea would probably be clear the whole thing out. Go from there. No, put all the All-Stars up. 
and give a negative to anybody that's not an all-star. <laughs> How's that sound? Okay. No, terrible. Sounds good to me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so what about this roster update? Yeah, let's talk about this roster update for a couple minutes here. Uh, let me pull this up. We got some new cards, a bunch of new a new uh, flashbacks. We got that Prime Joe Mauer. So I guess the Prime Joe Mauer came the week before, right? But this is like uh, saying that it's now sellable. That's why it, it's, it's actually been now. a few weeks. It's been a few weeks. So this is saying now that the Mauer and a few other of the flashbacks, uh, according to Tips, Tips actually broke it and confirmed it with the developers that some of the flashbacks now are sellable. Mm -hmm. Um I think the Eckersley was one. I also believe the Mauer, the Cargo, I think you can sell. Uh, and a few other ones. I would check MLB, the show, underscore tips on Twitter. He has an entire listing up on his uh, Twitter account on who is sellable and who is not. Yeah. Uh, so Hel Jose Altuve got the bump, a plus two, up to a 98. I've told you this has been coming. Uh, if he's really 58 grand, I might go swoop him because I have like 62. and I don't know what to do. I feel like Jose Altuve would be a beast play. Yeah, um, his power is... I mean, it's still... I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know that I still agree with it. I would like to see it up in the 60s. Mm -hmm. He's at 48 versus righties, 56 versus lefties. I, I know they're still weighted to the two years previously to a little bit, but I'd like to see that bump a little higher. I guess if he continues his torrid pace... I mean, I, haven't, see I didn't see what he's done in the last couple days, but I assume he's... Probably tied his career high for home runs already. So that's pretty good to do by the All-Star break. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, and his uh, his contact versus righties went back up a little bit, but not as much as it used to be. It used to be an 83, then it dropped down to a 79, now it's back up to an 81. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much hit or miss all year. I think his contact versus lefties stays up because he's absolutely mashing. But we talked about his numbers, was it last week, with Paul? Paul Sporer of Fangraphs and uh, SBGuide.com. I I don't understand it because he's hitting like over 400. <laughs> yeah. It's Wouldn't his contact be in the night? It should be 90s on both sides, right? You would think. No love for the little man from Texas. That's what it is. It's unfortunate. All right, let's talk about some of these other new cards. A new Robinson Cano flashback. New Mark DeShera flashback. Adam Wainwright flashback as a starting pitcher. And a uh, Phillies Cole Hamels, a Giovanni Gallardo, a little Miguel Montero action, another Robinson Cano. Is this a Robinson Cano double deal thing where we can do something with this cheap one? And Yeah, the Robinson Cano has a mission to make it. A What's the mission? Anything good? Uh, I don't know the mission off the top of my head. Was it 10 home runs, something like that? Or I, feel like mm, it was I don't know. 10 doubles, something like that believe that's um, what it was. whatever it is i my comment stands on what i said on twitter about him his live series is almost as good yeah. um with the exception of the fielding and his 97 is going for 200,000 right now sell for almost 300,000 come on yeah. why wouldn't you why wouldn't you just spend 20k get the live series and be like i said almost as good as his 97 so, a couple of other guys took some boosts. Chris Bryant goes diamond with a plus two up to a 93. Corey Seager continues his rise up to an 89. Too low starting to work his way back up, up to an 82. Carlos Carrasco up to an 86. He's finally getting on track, uh, Tulitsky. Um, not sure how it's going to last because you never know when he's just going to get hurt again. Yeah. Uh, where is he as compared to like his start of the year? Still nowhere near he started the year with 81 contact versus righties now he's at 61 yeah he was he was easily the best shortstop in the game that mm -hmm. you could get at a live series and he absolutely plummeted slow start coupled on with the fact that he can't stay healthy and the, his problem isn't that he can't stay healthy because if he was off the field he wouldn't be a problem but the problem is he's injured and playing oh yeah that's so that's the worst kind of injured yeah, because you're hurting yourself. Well, for Diamond Dynasty, obviously, because you're hurting yourself in the game. You're not performing up to your normal standards. I mean, right now, he was going for like 30, 40K earlier in the year. He's at 7,500 buy. 
I mean, that's, I think that's insane. I think it's a decent buy, especially oh. if you play him against lefties. Yeah, for the fielding as well too. Yeah. I mean, he he's so he has taken a arm he has taken a hit in the arm strength, which was yeah, but I mean, he was so amazing in the beginning of the year. He's still elite. He's still ninety two. So anything over eighty five in arm strength uh, is, I mean, yeah, you'll make a couple more plays, but it's negligible the difference. Uh, also this week, a bunch of guys got right up onto the doorstep of gold. Uh, Aaron Sanchez, Charlie Blackman, Miguel Sano, Freddie Freeman, Odubel Herrera all went up to an 84 overall. So they're all right there knocking on the door. Sano I want... looking like a beast. I think part of his overall was I think the it was move all back. the move back to third base. Yeah. Which, But he's got like legit power for oh, yeah. he's less than 1,000 subs. That's monster. That's uh, still budget baller right there. Don't forget my boy. My boy with his boost this week. Who, Charlie Blackman? Beast? No, Scope is dope. Jonathan Scope. Still not up to where you need to go for... Well, I mean, you could use him as a Diamond Dynasty budget guy. Um, currently sitting at 78 contact versus righties, 75 wow. contact... I'm sorry, um, 78 contact versus righties, 75 power versus righties. Uh, versus lefties, still 57-62. But fielding 80, arm strength 90 for a second baseman. So definitely something you can look at if you're looking for budget or keep an eye on if he continues his pace. It's a pretty big jump in contact going up 20 points in uh, contact versus radius. And right now his inside edge has plus 11. So that's uh, that's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Yep. Uh, but yeah, my, my combo of uh, Charlie Blackman and DJ LeMahieu dominating right now. Okay. I've I've liked DJ LeMahieu since the very beginning. The thing that people miss with DJ LeMahieu is he can steal bases. He's got a lot of Joe Panic in mm -hmm. uh, a guy we we absolutely fawned over in terms of budget. But DJ LeMahieu's got 88 fielding, but 78 speed and 52 stealing. And I've said before, when those two numbers get up above 100, I mean you're looking at a good amount of steals being able to take a base. So yeah, and I love the. I love the double 80 contact from both. Yeah, guys. absolutely. Absolutely. And Charlie Blackman is one of those guys that I feel like gets a hit literally every time I bring him in. I've used him a lot in uh, in Battle Royale. Especially like coming off the bench, he's just he's just amazing for me. Let's get that quick swing. The yep. the um the Correa swing. Mm -hmm. And he's also he's got his clutch 85 plate vision 74. So yeah, these upgrades this past update um to his power. I mean, that makes him pretty legit in center field. Yeah, especially in Battle Royale where I bring him in usually as a pinch hitter off the bench. Now he's going to have 67 power versus righties, which is who I'm usually going to bring him in against. Now he's got now he's got long ball threat on top of the hit a base hit over the second baseman's head. And that's 79 speed. Don't sleep. And don't forget the arm strength, not where you really want it, but the fielding. I mean, he could play left field for you if you've already got an established center fielder, so. Uh, a couple guys taking hits. Steven Matz, as he continues to deal with uh, bone spurs in his elbow. He's been going down a little bit. Jason Hayward hasn't been doing anything offensively this year. Uh, Yadier Molina's going down more. Melvin Upton Jr., we've, like we've said, uh, we've said for the last few weeks, keep an eye on San Diego players that get hot because they seem to get updates faster than anybody else. Very quickly. Uh, yeah, he jumps from a 74 to an 80. He got two to his contact. He got 23 to his contact versus lefties. Uh, and his power versus lefties went up another 23. That's not bad. Vision and discipline went down a little bit. Uh, but now he's got some extra power, and his speed went up to an 80. And his steel went to 77. You know who wishes he was having Melvin Upton Jr.'s uh, season? I'm going to assume you're going with BJ Upton. No. Well, you should. Carlos, BJ Carlos Gomez. <laughs> no, Carlos Gomez, true. Uh, I've actually been uh, using the... No, he is BJ Upton. My bad. Uh, what's the other one? Justin Upton. Justin, yeah. No, Justin's it... turning around a little bit. Yeah, I've been using his... Uh, I drafted him in a Battle Royale. He's kind of a beast. His flashback, I think it's like an 85 overall. Right. That thing's pretty nasty. Let me, uh... Let me pull that up real quick trying to think about so what if i told you mm, 
I don't really like the Gallardo. I wanted to sell the Gallardo flashback, and I don't think I can. Yeah, go for, why not? 90, 92 fastball, four seam, two seam, 12 six curve, but it's 80 miles an hour. It doesn't even break down into the 70s. I don't think that's a big enough mm, jump yeah. to bounce off a, nine, a, a low 90s fastball. Yeah. Nothing over 70 in terms of, I mean, one, one of his control is over 70 on two pitches, but everything else is just okay. Um, K over nine's at 85. Everything's above 70, but I just, I don't know that I can sell that. I want to be able to sell some of these flashbacks and I just, I don't see it. I don't think that, I don't think it was a great week for flashbacks. Yeah. Yeah. From 92 to 80. I mean, that's not great, but I mean, he's got a lot of stuff in there so you can, you can move around, which isn't bad. Although, the Mark Teixeira. Can we talk about that Mark Teixeira card? I mean, uh, the I was first to talk baseman. About this, uh, this Justin Upton card, but whatever. Oh, go for go, no, go for the no, Justin no, Upton. No, no, Go ahead. So I have Mark a blue Teixeira, Teixeira jersey from the Rangers. 80, 84 77 contact, right? Decent. Nine, 98 power versus righties. Decent. I know a lot of people like to use the Edmonds card at first base, but you get yourself a Mark Teixeira, 90 fielding, 80 arm accuracy. And some and just some speed, just a little bit of thirty eight speed with thirty five stealing, which is weird because I don't remember him ever stealing bases. Well, you got that thirty eight special speed. That's not bad. <laughs> but please, while I continue to look over flashbacks, please tell me about Sir Upton of yeah, the flashback uh, Detroit Tigers. Uh, oh, flashback. Mm. Yeah, sixty two contact versus righties, ninety two contact versus lefties. Beast. Seventy seven power versus righties. Beast. I'll, like, I'll give him Beast with, nine, with 77 power versus righties because he has hit some balls that I haven't believed. Uh, and 85 power versus lefties. Great discipline. I don't know if that means anything. Probably not. Plate vision's 32, which is rough. Uh, the thing I don't understand, he only has 75 arm strength and 58 accuracy. I thought Justin Upton had a cannon when he was younger. I don't remember that. I don't remember Upton having a huge arm. I know he's always been decent defensively, but... I don't remember him having like any kind of monster arm. Let's go check out. He's always been, correct me if I'm wrong. He's always been a left fielder. So I I think playing left field, a lot of people might get hit for their arms. Mm. Six assists, four assists, five assists, six assists. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it is. Here's the problem. When you have a cannon, ain't nobody running on you. So you don't get to use it. So just an update from the home run derby. Stanton hit 20 in his round. Jeez. Uh, yeah, that's Fraser, like 61 for the night. Frazier's got a minute and a half left with 10 home runs, and he needs two home runs of 440 plus feet. Oh, he still hasn't to, gotten the bonus. To get a, yeah, he hasn't got the bonus 30 seconds yet. And I'm watching his swing. It's not his swing. It looks. He's so lunging, good. right? Is he lunging? Yeah, I'm not watching. Absolutely. I assume he's lunging. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. He's lunging. He's one handing a lot of balls. He's stretching out between pitches. Messing with his gloves. He knows it's over, I think. Oh, he called a timeout. That's what it was. Calls a timeout. I wish They don't have timeouts in this, and I would kind of wish they did. <laughs> Just in case one of us gets tired, right? Yeah. It would be nice. It would be nice to do that. Uh, so, yeah, let's talk about uh, tonight's inaugural bullpen banter invitational home run derby. Are you excited for this? I'm absolutely excited for this because it's another chance to show my dominance at MLB The Show. Let me tell you about your dominance. I haven't even written a little paragraph for you to be introduced. I don't need an introduction. That's the point. Yeah, because you're just going to get whooped. All right. Uh, So what we did was went out. We invited some friends into this. Uh, Some of them you may know. Most of them have been on on one of these shows, or we've talked about them at some point. Uh, once we got them all set up, we did a little random order over at uh, the good old folks at random.org. Uh, and then we uh, did a little draft. Uh, first pick of the draft went to Brian Weedai, a.k.a. Pasta Padre, the man behind sports video game news and analysis site, pastapadre.com, co-founder of hitthepass.com, host of the Press Row podcast, and contributor to Sporting News, which used to be The Sporting News. But apparently at some point they took the the out. Uh, he used the first pick in the inaugural bullpen banter invitational home run derby to select Marlins outfielder Giancarlo Stanton. Interesting pick. 
Obviously, Gene Carlos Stanton's got I'm... bombs. Carlos Stanton? What? Gene Carlos Stanton. Give the man his full name. Mike? Mike Stanton. Mike Stanton. Mike Stanton is hitting. That's what it says on his flashback. <laughs> I do love that they changed his name to Mike Stanton for his flashback. Well, I mean, that's how the card was. They didn't really right. Uh, next up, we had Two Bros Gaming. Uh, he was going to be in, but he got sick. Uh, you can check out his videos. Uh, follow him on Twitter, at Two Bros Gaming. His YouTube link uh, is in there. Uh, so he wasn't able to fulfill his all-star duties. You know, we see this every year. These guys make the team. Then they're like, ah, I'm hurt. I can't play. So we got to bring someone else in. We brought in uh, Jeff Sherman of 23thoughts.com, our good buddy at jsherman23, uh, home of great opinion pieces, and one, if not the uh, deepest gallery of sports game screenshots over there at 23thoughts.com. Uh, Jeff will be playing with Two Bros Gaming's selection of Chicago White Sox third baseman Todd Frazier. The Todd father, Flava Frazier, the pride of New Jersey. I think it's a good selection. Number two selection. I mean, I like some of these other guys ahead of him. Maybe a Trumbo. But, hey, uh, but in in the real in the real home run derby, he just made it to the finals against Stanton. So never know. Uh, next up, uh, some would call him the sexiest man in sports video games today. Some would say he's got a face for podcasting. Uh, he is your favorite host of bullpen banter. Number twenty three in your scorecards. Number one in your hearts. TJ Lowerman, a.k.a. That Sports Gamer. And I have selected Cincinnati Reds outfielder Adam Duvall. I think he's got sneaky power. We saw him make it to the semifinals in tonight's real home run derby. I think he's got 88 power uh, in the game. Uh, so I'm looking forward to using him. Played with him a little bit uh, the last uh, little bit. And uh, it should be good. He's uh, He's kind of a beast. And especially with that inside edge boost, 99 from both sides. Does inside oh. edge count in Homer Derby? I have no idea. I'm going to guess yes. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. It's possible, right? I mean, anything's possible at this point. But I would I would think that it is because isn't, isn't the entire online affected by that? Like if you play a user versus user game? Mm, sure. I mean, you could turn it on and off, I think, right? Or no. Maybe not. In the uh, in the chat, I see Pasta in there saying, Gus has never played Home Run Derby. Gus has nothing to worry about. I've never played Home Run Derby either. So, What have you guys been time. doing? Actually playing the full game? The whole day you should have been practicing. Millennium, you're up after I read this next one, so get ready to tell me something a little bit about yourself that I don't know. Okay. Uh, up next, Bob... Maliki, Bob Everyman, I like to call him. He's here for you folks. Uh, he's a full-time accountant and an amateur sports video game player. Uh, the highlights of his sports video game career include winning the 1998 home run chase. You remember it, right? Uh, Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire. He won it with Glenn Allen Hill in Triple Play 98. Uh, he also hit five home runs in a game with, I'm going to say it, possibly the greatest Met ever. Lastings Millage in MVP 2000, uh, 2005. Great uh, baseball name. Uh, his sporadic tweets can be found at Bobo99. That's B O B O O H 99 on Twitter. Uh, and he's using Orioles outfielder Mark Trumbombs. If I don't win, I hope he wins, specifically because he's got Trumbo. Hey, Trumbo's a, Trumbo's a good guy. And I like the fact that he's the, the man of the people tonight. Yeah, he's that's who he's playing for, the man of the people. That's why I brought him in. Uh, Millennium, tell me a little bit about you and who you selected. I selected with my pick, I selected Carlos Gonzalez, monster hitter against righties. I'm pretty sure you get a righty pitcher in the home run derby, so I'm all in. That is correct. Uh, I think San Diego is set up well for a lefty power hitter. I think we're good to go. And just about myself, I'm terrible at MLB The Show. True. I don't practice. It absolutely shows. I get beat by the computer constantly. And I don't think I've won a game on stream yet. So there's a first for everything, and that first will be tonight. You're finally going to win something? No. 
right, didn't think but so. it's going to be fun. That's what I'm here for. Right. Uh, next up, we've got Gus Ramsey standing at six foot four, according to his IMDb page. Uh, he's going to be using All Star host Will Myers, uh, who I think got ousted in the first round tonight. Uh, Gus has been a producer on ESPN Cornerstone's uh, Sports Center and Baseball Tonight. He has four Emmys. I don't know if you know about this. Four Emmy Awards. Why his Twitter picture doesn't have him with four Emmy Awards baffles me right now. He's uh, got four Emmy Awards. What is he doing here? Uh, he's a friend of the show. He's a, he's a big ah, fan okay. of us. Big fan of MLB The Show. Uh, he's also recently started his own talent coaching business. Uh, where he instructs on-air personalities. Uh, you can head over to... Uh, oh, he just changed the title. It's I believe it's GusRamseyProductions.com. Let me just double-check that real quick. Pretty positive. GusRamseyProductions.com. Uh, you can go over there. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Gus Ram Productions. G-U-S-R-A-M Productions. Get over there. Uh, have him. Oh, see, look at that. I told him to do this, and now I go to GusRamProductions.com. You know what's there? What is it? Four Emmys showing up right there. Oh, it needs to be there. Go to GusRamProductions.com. Look at these four Emmys. This is this is my assistance to him. Four Emmys. It's pretty good. It's amazing to me, the four Emmys. I mean, I, I wasn't aware of that. I've, I've been aware of Gus Ramsey for a very long time. I was not. I love the fact that he's a wrestling fan, by the way. Gus, big fan. Um, yeah, but I was some, not aware he, of the four Emmys. Yeah, he recently did some work on the Edge and Christian show. Yes, which is hilarious on the network, by the way. Yeah. Uh, next up, uh, if you've seen a diamond card pulled from a pack or a tweet about a knuckleball pitcher, you probably already follow at MLB the show underscore tips. Uh, he can only speak in 140 characters at a time, but swats 500 foot moonshots with ease. Uh, he's going to be using Mariners second baseman Robbie Cano. Don't you know tonight? Uh, yeah, Tips. Uh, Tips is a great guy. Uh, Thursday. What's it? Every other Thursday. I think this is a week that they're on. Yes, they are on this week at Score Space Pro Twitch TV slash Score Space Pro. Yep, doing their show, walking off. Highly recommend uh, checking that out. Uh, then next up, the man we're all waiting for. Uh, and I feel bad for him because he got the last pick. Like, he got stuck. He got stuck with his guy. Uh, Paul Spore, most well-known uh, for his dog Charlotte's Instagram account. Uh, Paul is also a writer at Fangraphs.com, host of the fantasy baseball podcast The Sleeper and the Bust, and the author of the 2016 Starting Pitcher Guide, uh, which you can find at the thespguide.com. Uh, and he is stuck with Dodgers shortstop Corey Seager. It's not bad. The it's biggest, bad the the most upgraded man in the game today, I, outside of I think Xavier Bogarts or Xavier Xander Bogarts. Is that true? So, uh, with Seager, with his power and his defense, I would I'd be willing to put money on that. Oh, excellent. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to hop into this other Discord room. Hopefully they're all not yelling, uh, but we can go in there and uh, we can chat with them. And I guess you already moved yourself to that Discord room, so now we're over I here. I am here. Let's see who's here. Pasta Padre, are you there? Padre, are you there? Who doesn't know that? Anymore? I'm here. Who's got the stream in the background super loud? That's what I want to know. Probably Brian. Excuse me? Someone's got the stream in the background being loud. No, you we're good what? now. I assume it's Gus. Not uh, Gus. Dot Gus. Emmys don't Emmys don't explain how to uh, how to stream properly. Yeah. <laughs> to, to be fair, it was not Gus that had his stream up. Mm. Um, we, we'll we'll get into it later, but Gus was completely quiet when he came in here. All right. Well, so Good far, job, Gus. <laughs> Good job. As a fifty-year-old man, I'm proud to say I have no streaming problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you the take a pill for strong. that. Now? That's important on a lot of levels. Gus, like that you took my advice and uh, updated the website with your Emmys. I can't read these, but I assume they're for good things. I missed half. I missed half of what you said there. Uh, he was just mentioning the four Emmys that you put on the website look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, congratulations on those. 
we're going to try to win Thank a... You. Are there YouTube enemies that we can win for this home run derby? There's probably some kind of internet we award get a that could be won. A Webby a award? Webby? <laughs> sure. All right, we have Paul in the chat. So far, we've got me, uh, Gus, Pasta, Jeff, and Paul in the Home Run Derby. Millennium, what are you doing? In the Home Run Derby? I wasn't invited. Uh, so what you have you to do is... You don't get invited, bro. Yeah. Oh, is that how this works? Yeah, so I need you, Bob, and Tips, who are all hopefully following me on PSN, to go in, pick their guy, uh, pick, or pick home, uh, online Home Run Derby, pick their guy... And then uh, play with friends. And there will be a uh, that sports gamer lobby. Yep. I'm gonna win this thing. You're not gonna win this. TJ, you have home run derby experience of seventy one twenty five. You're not gonna win this. Thing. That's good. That's I mean, not good. Didn't wear myself. That's out. like that's the trick. That's like what I was. That's what I was like two days ago. <laughs> this is the, this is the trick. You wear yourself out. You can't uh -huh. go too hard. I thought that was a thing, but apparently Gene Carlos Stanton, not human, he can just hit 61 home runs and it's no big deal. This yeah. is what I like. I love I love that Gus and I both have zero. We don't need practice. <laughs> well, if you guys get ousted in the first round, it's all good. It but, would be true to life. <clears throat> yes, we're still missing L and Will eyes to my performance tonight. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're just Maybe missing more. Tips and Bob. All right, uh, let's see here. They are in the chat, so. Is there a um, is there a level setting for a home run derby? Can you do different like veteran and all star and hall of fame and all that? No, online it's just one, one flower. Yeah, it's all one where you can usually hit a home run. Yeah, you can pretty much mash most uh, of the time. Yeah. So it's not going to be someone throwing 100, two miles an hour at me. No, no, no. no. It's easy. It's usually. It, there's some variance in there, uh, but generally it's right down the middle, and it's you know probably like what 85 miles an hour or something. Yeah, DJ. Yeah. That's so it. we're using a five minute clock. Yeah. Yeah. Is it five? Five or is minutes. It four and then goes up. So so no, it's in the game. It's five. There might yeah. be a setting for that, but in the game default, there, it's five minutes, and then you get an extra 30 seconds. I believe if you hit a home run over 480 or 460, this is not in the real in the real in, contest. You yeah, have to have two of 440. Yeah, yeah, and so it's it's not accurate in that sense. I think you only need to hit one, and it's either 470 or 480, something like that. Of all the people that I thought was going to ruin this, I never would have guessed it was going to be Tips. Not going to lie. Who? Who's missing? At MLB the show underscore tips. He's he's streaming something else. He's got Robinson Cano's stats up right now. Well, he needs to get in the game. <laughs> get his head out of his butt and let's do Wait, this. Are you saying getting out of the bullpen and getting into the game? That's get too early. Out of the bullpen, get into the game. Uh what we're gonna do is uh, I've asked everybody to start streaming. I don't know if everybody has or there's can. two people missing. Spore and Tip. Oh, no, Spore is the only one. And uh, Millennium? Yeah, Millennium. Those two aren't up. Uh, are you streaming on Operation Sports, uh, Millennium? Yes. Okay, give me one second. It says offline on mine. I mean, maybe it's it could no, be running on I had his uh, his personal account in the thing. <laughs> gotcha. So let me change that. So do we need to refresh that then? Uh, With Operation Sports in the yeah, let me give you a, URL? Let me give you a fresh one. Uh, you so yeah. tweet that out? Yeah, so if you guys want to click on that link, uh, okay. it'll probably kill your internet, but it'll bring up uh, all of our windows so that you can see us all playing. Gus, because I'm going to ask this question because I'm very selfish on this show. Um, I On a scale of 1 to 10, this is all final deletion for you. On a scale of 1 to 10, what? Uh, the final deletion. If you're even allowed to say anything regarding it, the final deletion. I don't know what you're talking about. Good. Never mind. Because then. you don't want to know anything about <laughs> this it. amazing wrestling event that I just am still fawning over. So, oh, recently the Hardy brothers fought each other, and it was oh, either... you know, if it's not if it's not WWE, I really don't pay attention. Yeah, it was either the worst thing or the best thing, and I'm leading hard toward it being the worst thing I've ever seen. 
Are they are they still in TNA? Yeah, unfortunately. That was TNA. Wow. Well, their production yeah. quality has gone up. It's impact. I don't no. see it. You then tonight, if you liked it, I would. Well, no, not, this is not for Gus, just for TJ. Um, New Day on the Wyatt compound was amazing tonight. That was really good. Yeah, that was really good. That was uh, WWE for a very long time has been ahead of the game editing wise and knowing how to turn around packages like that. And in the five months that I was there freelancing, I got to peek in on some of that stuff. Those guys really know what they're doing. Absolutely. Their video production team may be the best in the world. So, yep. Tips is killing me right now. I would concur. No stream from Spore? No, it's okay. They don't need the stream. Yeah, he's going to be out he in the first round. We did a good spoof of uh, Jeff and Matt Hardy in our Edge and Christian show. I'm aware. I've watched every episode and laughed. Uh, you know what? I take that back. The first episode, I was a little iffy on and then after that <laughs> so it, the whole thing else. yeah the whole thing grew me after that it was amazing well we had um let's see i started on the project the first week of december they originally wanted the first show to air by after the royal rumble in january um we, we never shot a pilot shot the first three episodes first week that we got together to shoot and that was also the first time the producer and i had met edwin christian uh, we didn't do any table reads. We just kind of went, all right, here's what we're doing, and we did it. And then, so those first three episodes are are fine, but they're nothing like the remaining 12, because after the first, we went, all right, this worked, this didn't, let's do it this way. We figured it out, and it got a lot better. Yeah, it, it, it absolutely showed. I, I was, it, it's easily one of the most underrated pieces on the network. Yeah, it found, it found a good home. It really picked up steam. I mean, by by mid-season, when the show was debuting, I would just go on Twitter and follow the hashtag, and literally 99 out of 100 comments were positive. You like had to go out of your way to find someone saying something bad. Now, maybe the haters just stopped watching and, and didn't tweet, but I also noticed as the season went on, there were a lot of, well, I didn't like it in the beginning, but it's really hitting its stride now kind of stuff. So they are going to do a season two. They haven't announced that yet, but I think around December this year they'll start shooting season two. Oh yeah, the uh, and you know for a fact with when it comes to internet wrestling fans, if there was any type of uh, negativity, you would have found it. So there definitely wasn't. Yeah, I mean, like again, there was in the beginning, but once we got past that and people kind of gave it a chance, one of the advantages you have. Of being on a place like the network is people are already paying for that you like you're invested in watching it because you spend ten dollars a month for the for the service it's not like you turn on abc and go oh let's see if this dr ken show is funny and then a month later go hey you know what let me give him another shot because you're not nearly as invested you know netflix or in a wwe network you're like oh well, why not i'm paying for it let's look again uh, yep, brian absolutely. brian oh hold on brian we have a question yeah. from the chat uh-huh. Uh, how often do you go to operationsports.com? Oh, pretty often. I, uh, I I try to read everything everywhere to get, to get a feel of people, how people are reacting to things and and uh, any new information that comes up. I, I try to collect as much info as I can from every source out there I can. So I'm, I'm all over the place. Yeah, I mean, and I think that goes for pretty much everybody in this niche. We all go to pretty much, like, I go to Pasta all the time, even though I'm an operations sports guy. I go to Pasta for a lot of my news, so it's just, it's a great way to get different angles and everything. Mm -hmm. I prefer Applebee's for my Pasta. For your Pasta? It's on that 2 for 20. It's so good. No burger on the 2 for 20. Kind of a they improved. Burger. They improved their food. Recently, apparently, yeah. I've not gone though. Are we, we talking a, about uh, Applebee's? Yeah, we had a good discussion about Applebee's today on Twitter. Guys, everyone is here. Are you guys ready to do this? Yeah. Let me just so, remind you quickly, though. quickly, TJ. Let's point out for people who aren't familiar with uh, with the home run derby and the video game. All eight of us are going to be hitting at the exact same time. That's why we have eight windows up on the multi Twitch uh for you guys to watch and so we get five minutes we get an extra bonus 30 seconds if we hit a uh, home run at, in the game it's something like 470 or 480 uh so it's not exactly accurate to to the home run derby in the, in real life but uh you're gonna be seeing everybody's ball tracker arc out there um 
So hopefully just enjoy and you get some of the uh, excitement that we have here hitting them. Pasta, if you don't hit one of those airplanes that flies by the stadium with Stanton, <laughs> then you've failed. I hit that. See, see up there, my long of 537, I hit that uh, yesterday. Uh, but that was in Coors Field. In, in Petco, my longest, I think, was 511, um, which is still pretty good. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't have All-Star Game Petco as a choice for Homer Derby. But... With the logos and stuff on the field? Yeah. I think they show up in it's the, in the game, Home Run right? Derby. Oh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I see it in there. We'll see it. We I think we'll see it on the field, actually. Okay. All right. Well, just a reminder, uh, we got Pasta Padre with Giancarlo Stanton. Uh, Jay Sherm using Todd Frazier. I'm using Adam Duvall. Bobo's using Mark Trumbo. Millennium's using Carlos Gonzalez. Uh, Gus is using Will Myers. Underscore Tips has Robinson Cano. And Sporer has Corey Seager. You guys ready? All right. Launch Derby with friends only. Let's go. All right. Corey Seager only had four home runs last year. Stanton. Okay, so the inside edges aren't in this. Uh, 92 power for Stanton, 88 for Frazier. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm liking this already. Wow. 76 for Cargo, not good for me. 68 for Cano. Oh, that'd be interesting. Right this ought to be interesting because I'm watching the Twitch and mine at the same time. I mean, that's <laughs> a ter- probably a terrible idea. I've never no, actually tried amazing. playing I- I'm looking at all eight Twitches right now. I- it's. It's amazing to watch. Oh, wow. They're all sync- not even completely waiting synced up. Their bonus to write. Yeah. All right. That's wow. why we're waiting, Gus. <clears throat> I want kids on the field. They need yeah, to they add do that. Need that. That'd be yeah. sweet. <laughs> and they all need to be playing Pokemon Go as they're shagging flies. Oh, my God. Is there Can a Pikachu I tell you left? about the Pokemon Go? <laughs> oh, oh, my <laughs> God. It's like, it's like someone just launched missiles. <laughs> we're all under attack. I think half I'm went doing, homer and half didn't. I'm doing well. I didn't even swing at the first pitch. Good start. That's oh, good you, you, psychological. These rules don't don't take. There's no reason to take a pitch in these rules. No, I know. I know. To, <laughs> yeah. Like it waits for the last ball to land before the next yep. pitch is thrown. Yes, but I think your yep. clock stops on yours. I took that pitch. <laughs> <laughs> the host of the show always showing how good we are. Oh. Um. Fireworks. A few times I got 10 in a row earlier today, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm a slow starter. Ooh, grounder by me. Nice. Almost killed the pitcher. God, whoever's hitting the moonshots, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the gray line? That's what we need to know. I don't know, but Gus is winning so far. So. I know. Will Myers that. hosting. It's the host Will Myers. Uh, bonus. Will Myers just hit one. Well, that was only 419. Top uh, of the West. I've noticed Adam Duvall hits balls real high. <laughs> oh, boy. I crushed that one. Let's see. As they say in Major League, it's too high. 502. That's my there problem. Go. Ooh. Did that one hit the scoreboard? Yeah. It went, like, past it. <sighs> I hit a dribbler back to the mound. All right. Mm. <laughs> Rock Hero in the in the uh, chat. Too many Twitch streams. There's never too many Twitch streams. <laughs> I'm at the bottom. Me and Pasta at the bottom. That's not good. Oh, and I go foul. Ugh. By the way, something a lot of people may not know with the multi Twitch, you can do this with any as long as you know the names. Just do multi twitch.tv and then use forward slashes in between the Twitch usernames. You can do this with anyone. So um, definitely a cool feature that not a lot of people know about. Yeah, and by default the. Uh... The first one on your list will be yes. the one whose audio you hear. Pasta Padre drops the last. I'm ripping balls and not hitting them out of the park. As long as I beat Pasta Padre, I'm good. Hey, TJ. What's up? Want to look at the top of the leaderboard right now? I mean, you just you just made me hit the top. I almost <laughs> killed my own guy in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me excited for this now. Oh. Uh, Jay Sherm getting a little Fraser love, too. Jayco in the chat says he's been sending uh, TJ friend requests. Yeah. I so think, I think we're going to do a we'll do some open home run derbies after this. Absolutely. Let the folks get in another one. 
off the scoreboard. Ooh, who hit that? Who's the one on the scoreboard? Is that you, TJ? Yeah. With Duvall, nice. I think I'm gonna have to aim up a little bit here, and then I hit a grounder, of course. Man, you guys all hit home runs. Getting yeah. into a groove. Is that a foul ball, TJ? No, I hit one. Oh. Oh. On the ground a little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, whoever whoever is the gray line is amazingly wow. high with everything. It's, <laughs> like just absolute moonshots, as Mass Fresh, Matt Vaskersian would say. I just hit the scoreboard again. I'm taking aim oh. on the scoreboard right now. I just see again. that little skid mark on the infield grass. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stay fair. <sighs> Ooh, foul. Side of the building, that's foul. Who put this building over here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the bottom? No. No. Frozen rope into the crowd. I love it. 411. Oh, off the f Sire 52 in the chat. What's going on? Ugh. I should not look at the chat and then foul off a ball. I just I hit one right through. Right five through seconds left. You haven't got your bonus then. I got over a minute. Same Gotta here. go for up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Off the wall is always so crushing. Oh, I thought I oh, had it. Sk you skinned the wall? That's rough. Mm. I'm starting to feel oh, the foul. pressure with uh, Jay Sherm behind me. Oh my oh. god. I'm not going to make it to the second round. I'm so upset right now. There's, there's nothing better. This entire stream is worth it if TJ doesn't make it to the second round for me. I think I hit that one too high. I think I hit it too high. Mm -hmm. Too high? It's too far? I'll take it. Oh, Sire says he picked pasta in the uh, Twitter poll. Oh, my God. Sure. Yeah, and I'm choking. I'm sorry. I, I was hitting 19 in rounds earlier. I got no bonus time. It must be. I hit a couple like four high four fifties. So. I think it's four seventy. You have to hit, um, and I think yours well, is four sixty one. If I just looked at it right. Tough to do with the seventy two power. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I was just about to say you've got you're you're have no like no right being where you are, and you absolutely are with the power. I mean. Oh my god. Tips basically has one more chance to tie me. I'm on the bottom, and I think I'm out. Oh, I know I'm out. That's it. That's tough. Car goes down. Cargo finishes. I've with... never hit this few. I've been eliminated. Ugh. Myers, Frazier, Seeger, Gonzalez. I like it. Right, who's still, who's still that's left? uh that's that's Gus, J. Sherm, Sporer, and yours truly co host of the show. Well, I promised the Twitterverse that I would hit more than Will Myers actually hit tonight. Through on what that. <laughs> yeah, I think you've, you've done that, haven't you? Yeah, he hit 10. Tips is out. You, Paul, Jeff, and Gus. And Gus. Oh, Will Myers, love. Uh, so, TJ, um, just as like a... As a side note here, for strategy purposes... What does it feel like watching four people play while you're sitting on the sidelines? I mean, I'm not. Well, I'm just seeing lines. I just see streamers flying. But watch the green one. The green one's the one that's the most important. Uh, I just put an updated multi-twitch link in the chat. Uh, that should have. Oh, with the four people left. Yeah. Gotcha. And ours up front, so that you can. Right. See obviously yours. ours. Oh man. You know, sometimes you're just really good at this game. And it's these little side things that you're not good at. Myers it, I guess. Oh, well, man. The funny thing is, TJ, we were the two most experienced at the home run derby, and we we're both out. True. So Spora right now is leading the distance with 492. I had I had five, what, 502? What I said? Oh, yeah, you did. It's right. I forgot. In the first round, at least. Oh, I just choked one down the, on the ground while Spora caught up with me. Got. So you guys are tied at four. Jeff and Gus tied at one. That's a line drive. Oh, it didn't get up there. I think Spore just pulled ahead. Yep. Five, four.
Get up. Get out. Get gone, cargo. Ugh, that's it's okay, Tips. You did yourself proud with Robinson Cano. Did he? You have no room to talk. Hey, man. I had Adam <laughs> Duvall. Robert Duvall's ill-begotten son. Oh. I just wasted, wasted a perfect chance. Uh, Spore missed on with Seeger, and I grounded the first. And I grounded again, and Spore didn't miss that one. I'm looking at... Oh, Gus just went off. Gus, oh. you are you the teal or the uh, red? It was just short. I'm the yellow or... Oh, the colors are different, I guess. They might differ between people now. Yeah. I don't think Will Myers has 470 in them. I think everybody themselves is green on their own screen, if I'm not mistaken. Gotcha. Rock Hero in the chat saying, Manny Machado is unreal in this game in Home Run Derby. I think there is something to be said for having a higher contact rating, too, because it's still zone hitting, and the mm -hmm. pitches aren't always down the middle. Uh, I can either confirm or... <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny that Robert Duvall is Adam Duvall's father. I think Duvall's I just father. swung and missed. Pitch was so bad. <laughs> Did you see uh, who got hit tonight? Someone got hit in the home run derby. I think it was uh, Will Myers. Cano got hit or almost got hit. My pitcher's now throwing balls. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not helping. There's actual pitcher fatigue in the home run derby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, while I can't confirm or deny uh, Robert Duvall's fatherhood. Uh, Adam Duvall was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in 2012, and he wears an insulin pump during ball games. How big is an insulin pump? Is that like a hassle? I would assume so. Not these days. I, I think I think these days they've got a hold on that. Oh! Mm. I'm wasting these times that Spore is hitting ground balls by hitting ground balls the same direction as he is. Am I wrong? I don't know if this is for sure, but my sense is that everybody gets the same pitch, I which is so. why you might see you might see the same outcomes from multiple people. A lot of times you'll see, wow, everybody pulled that one, or or everyone hit that a little high. You know, I, not always, but you'll see similarities in some of them. That is what it feels like. Yeah, uh, and I think we're gonna have Millennium and Paul move on. I know we're runs. tied. We we got eleven home runs apiece. What is uh, Sherm? Jeff was with me there for a second, and I got scared. Oh no, seven and seven. That's not out of the out of the realm. Especially if I'm going to foul balls off. They'd need their bonus though. They don't have the thirty seconds yet. <clears throat> I got one bonus. All right, you guys can stop it. No runs. <laughs> oh, now you want us to stop hitting it now? I see how it is. That was a monster. 40, ah, it's only Ooh, 43. Roof. No, I'm left-handed, so all my monsters are going out towards that show 16 sign. Of right a late yes. rally comes up short. Will Myers. Oh, Jay Sherm officially eliminated. <laughs> Paul's not wasting anymore his. He knows he's in. That's it. All right. The finals. Paul Spohr as Corey Seager, who didn't even get to pick his player with the last last spot in the draft against Millennium. But, I mean, let's Corey be honest. Corey Seager, definitely, definitely worth it. Definitely it's bombs. Yeah. Wasn't Cargo picked late also? I think I was like uh, I was very upset because uh, somebody took Trumbo from me. I'm a huge Orioles fan, so I settled for Carlos Gonzalez. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, I hate that Paul has a different thing on each website he's on. Uh, pasta is the show your favorite sports game, or if not, what is? <sighs> That's hard, right? I think for a lot of us, it rotates throughout the year. Yeah. Um. I'd say, you know, I probably played more of the show this year than ever before. Uh, but as far as like what if I was gonna just play one game, it'd be football. You know, I'd be Madden. I agree. Uh, not oh, because it's football. the best. Not because it's the best game, 
but that's just the sport I care the most about. Yeah, I understand that. I think, uh, well, you know, we'll just we'll just go down the line here because I mean, a lot of people have different. Oh, man, we are terrible this round. No, um, mine else likes baseball. Like, I'm a huge baseball fan. I still think I would play. Uh, I still think I would play NHL more than anything, hmm. uh, because of the. I have an established EASHL team that plays on a normal basis. So that adding on to having the multiplayer that one, um, Is that fair? the multiplayer added on to the offline experience for me. Gus favorite sports game. Where did Gus leave? Gus uh, no, I'm here. Um, it's a, a push between the show and Madden. I, I, by default, I end up playing more Madden because of leagues I'm in. Um, you know, the baseball game is, I think, overall a better game. And I've said this a thousand times in part just because it's better looking because the stadiums are more fun to play and they're all different and unique. And whether you're doing road to the show or full blown season mode, like I'm playing the Mets season right now, I'm about <coughs> two weeks behind where they are in, in reality. Uh, you know, you can just plow through Madden a lot more, you know, you can, you can play eight Madden seasons before the next game comes out and you can pretty much play one MLB the show season. Right. So it's a, that's a little tricky in that regard, but I always kind of lean towards MLB as a better game, but I would say I, I, I like them equally and we were going to have a league this year, but then pasta apparently just dropped the ball and put it on the whole thing and didn't tell anybody. So yeah, let's blame it on pasta. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, the, your the show that you were going to run. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever happened to that? I, I thought you were going to run it, right? I think we all got like into the Diamond Dynasty and then didn't even think about it. No, I didn't. I sat around waiting for my invite and cried right. myself to sleep most nights. Oh, no. <laughs> well, since I've been eliminated, I can go set up the league right now. The other part of that is can you imagine if they used their offline Power franchise? No, the, off, the offline franchise interface with everything that it has. And put it into their online for mm. the show, and I know I know why because it's resource intensive intensive to be able to add that, but that's that's what I'm waiting for. I want to get into online leagues, but not having all of the functionality kills it for me. Yeah, yeah. Well, last year in the league we played, the most it didn't work. You know, guys yeah. would guys would yeah. lose games mid game. Playing someone head to head online was frustrating because you'd see these punts coming in from the right fielder to the mm -hmm. third baseman, and the guy would be standing on the base, and then the ball would arrive four seconds later, and then he'd be called out. It was just unplayable sometimes. Update yeah, home run derby. Millennium's got 11. Spore's got nine. Can he make a comeback? Two minutes to go. Um, you mentioned, uh, Gus, and this is also for you, Brian, because I know you're a big league gamer with Madden. Mm. The new stuff coming to Madden with being able to play moments in games, to be able to play multiple years of franchise mode. What do you guys think about that? Well, it's not really new. I mean, the first thing is the Super Sim's been in the game forever. You could Super Sim to a third down if you wanted. Right. and go hop right back in the game or you could super sim to a red zone situation you could do the only thing it's doing is stopping it for you and give it, you know presenting you with the situation and giving you the opportunity um i don't i don't think a lot of people want to play that way i i it's the same with like quick counts and the show and stuff i, I think it takes the the rhythm out i think it takes out the uh the strategy you have over a course of a game because if you're only playing you know 10 to 15 plays in an entire game, you have no sense of anything that's happened around it. You know, it's like you can't pick up on tendencies or you can't figure out, yo, I'm having trouble stopping the run. So I need to load, load up the box. You don't know that going into a third and, and three or whatever, because you, you haven't played the previous, you know, two drives or whatever. So I don't think it really works. I, I understand why they add it, uh, because uh, they want to give people a quicker experience. I'm not sure if, you know, people want games to be quicker, but I'm not sure they want to sacrifice what makes, you know, these sports actual sports uh, in order to get that. 
Yeah, I'm the wrong guy to ask. I, I played an MLB the show game the other night against the Royals, and I had Rodano Ventura at 98 pitches through five innings, and I couldn't have been happier. Yeah. So that's part of the <laughs> that's part of the satisfaction. My one of my favorite things in, is working opposing team's pitcher. Uh, I, just, I get so so much satisfaction from that. I, I actually Cargo. agree with you guys too. I mean, yeah, Cargo wins, Millennium wins. But just on that on that topic, I absolutely agree. I'm the same way. Fifth inning, if you, that's why I play on Hall of Fame. Um, and then I know some people that play on All Star and push the strike consistency up, the slider for MLB The Show. I love drawing walks. I love yeah. you know like getting guys to getting to the bullpen is a great strategy. Mm-hmm. I had a 13 pitch at bat earlier tonight uh, against someone online. In a Nolan Ryan versus Anthony Rizzo at bat, those are really fun when you when you get to that point. You know how much, especially online, TJ. You know how much frustrating for the other person oh, yeah. when you keep fouling pitches off. That's the best. Even like I ended up getting out at the end, but I was like, I felt accomplished. Yeah, that that is an accomplishment. That's the best thing you can do if you're not going to actually reach base. All right, congratulations. Uh, yes. Chris. In his first time playing the home run derby. First time playing home run derby. I just want to thank a few people. Um, <laughs> I'd like to thank TJ for being eliminated in the first round and making my entire night. I'll <laughs> do it again. Uh, I'd like to thank both Jeff Sherman, Jeff Sherman coming in late, you know, subbing in for Two Bros Gaming. Um, Gus for not knowing how much of a fan I am and just coming in here and letting me <laughs> fanboy for a little while while we were padding. Um, Brian coming in here and graciously taking the same elimination that TJ did. <laughs> right. Well, we were really pulling for you. Uh, so we wanted to get out of your way. Oh, that's, is this what this was? Everyone sandbagged, was. sandbagged to make me feel better about myself? Yep. I mean, uh, job, mission accomplished, boys. We're here, we're here to help you. There, there are no weapons of mass destruction in this Harmon Derby. Uh, you know who wants to thank you, uh, Millennium? Tell me. That's uh, Gabe Blanco, at Salary Caps, uh, with two Ps on Twitter. Uh, for you winning this Home Run Derby, uh, he has won a $10 PSN gift card. Actually, he has won a $30 one because I'm donating my winnings to him for supporting me. But you couldn't donate it to me. Those are packs we're no. going to open on the show. No, no. <laughs> it's about the community. It's I mean, all about giving back. You're right. So he has now not only won the $10 that he won for supporting me, he is now winning 30 because I open enough packs. I don't need to feed it that addiction anymore. Yeah, and uh, so you have to give me the 20 bucks to put towards this. You know, it's a team fight. That I can do. That's right. I got these. Uh. Brian Gus, I mean, you're more than happy to stick around and play some more if you'd, uh, if you'd no, like. No, I, I gotta go find out who the new uh, Raw and Smack. Uh, so. I believe Teddy Long. I'll, I'll play another. Oh, uh, no spoilers. I, I mean, it's I not don't know. not uh, Teddy Long. The draft is tomorrow night. <laughs> no, the draft uh, no, is one week from tomorrow. Sorry, guys. Yep. It's a week from tomorrow. Okay. He's announcing Vince's Vince's back on Raw tonight to announce the commissioner, probably to end the show, Gus. I would think, right? Yeah, I think it's going on right here. I hear my boys laughing. Oh no. <laughs> Don't say it till Gus is gone. No, I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen it. I'm, 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 I'm squealing because I'm like, I'm saying one of my boys is coming down to spoiler me now. But <laughs> I got to run. Thanks, guys. It was fun. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, Come guys. On, take care. Yeah. Take it easy. All right, guys. I got to re enter. Let me cancel some Diamond Dynasty orders and then I'll be there to play again. Oh, my God. I have to redeem myself because I. I Seriously, spent several hours practicing. I came up with a, like my ideal positioning of the of the curve and everything, and uh, was hitting 19 in rounds earlier today, and come out and just hit. I think I hit 11. I may have tied with whoever finished in fourth place, but I didn't get the edge for some reason, yeah. or I missed out by one home run. I'm not sure. Uh, Millennium, I'm gonna send you his tweet uh, if you want to tweet at him the good news. Oh wow! I got all kinds of rewards after that too. Did you? Yeah, that's why I yeah. was I was happy to keep practicing on it because it was giving me stuff. So, right. Uh, I believe I added that guy that added me before. 
Uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll open it up to friends, let them get in, and then we can open it up to the public uh, afterwards. And I'm going to be somebody good. I'm going to be, uh, I'll be Kyle Seeger. You best believe. Can we play at Griffith Stadium? We cannot. No, it won't let you play in Legend Stadiums. Dumb. Yeah, it's a bummer. I don't know who to be. Billy Hamilton. I'll be my beast. Uh, any particular stadium? Uh, if someone has a, a stadium in the chat, uh, they would like to throw out there. Uh, Jack will give me one second. Sorry about that. Um, are you going to be DMing Gabe, Mr. Blanco himself? Uh, yeah, unless you want to. Nope. It'd be all you. Go for it. Uh, Jack, do we have a stadium are, choice? You are now in. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jared Sleven says Fenway Park. Okay. The Park? I well, I mean, that's gonna that's going to affect who we're going to be doing, right? That's gonna that's gonna help me as Chris Carter. He's a beast. Bobo back in. Love it. All right. Can I see my codes? That'd be great. Oh, man. No, my battery's dying. That's not good. Your battery's oh, what? Your what happened? controller? Yeah. That's what happened. Uh-huh. Where the hell? I have so many USB cables. All right. Uh, we got me, you, him. That guy. Uh, we're going to open this up to the public queue. Uh, see if we can get any Ooh, deals going with a Bryce Harper. We're just wow. going to intentionally walk him, right? Jim Bill McGee. We got Prince Fielder coming in here. Oh, I like the Prince Fielder choice. It's going to be a little weird if he hits one to the power alley and right. Oh, another Bryce Harper. I like it. Josh Donaldson. Did you verify that salary caps is a real person? He looks like a real person. Uh, sure. Another Bryce Harper. Where does it tell me? I love his name, by the way. Salary Caps, because he's a Carter Caps fan. Hmm. All right. The, uh, I should be going in a second. Here we go. Uh, just to give everyone a heads up, I think a lot of people use them, so there's going to be another <laughs> update to the OSFM coming out tomorrow during the All-Star game where they're re-rating they re-rated the entire minors to update this season to reflect their current top 100 status so um, should be interesting I know that riding down with Kingsley has been I, I think he's at this point addicted to, to roster editing as many updates as he's put out so they should be out tomorrow during the All-Star game all right, Seeger. All right, let's go. Let's go. Get out. That's there we go. Come on. I am actually took the first pitch again. <laughs> Seeger, 473 right off the bat. Right? Ooh, it's a big boy. Ah, pulled a foul. Her crew apparently did well in the celebrity softball game. I should have chosen a lefty. I think I'm better with lefties. Huh? Do you guys get a sense that you're better in one side of the plate than the other? Uh, I'm absolutely better with lefties. Yeah, Sorry, got TJ. Yeah, same here. I, wonder if that, I can actually pull is, balls with righties, so that's a good thing. Yeah. I'm starting to, right. I'm starting to become the pop-up king here. I just don't want to pull any more foul. That was pretty bad. Stay fair. Stay fair. Oh, is that not going to be a home run? Look at that. Look at the arcs. They're all practically the same. Same <laughs> high. Yeah. yeah. I, you might be onto something. Well, I mean, that would make them fair, too, if we all got the same pitches. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So. It's just funny that the righties and the lefties all went to. So maybe that does tell you that it was all. 
one side of the plate or something. Ah! Uh, who pulled foul with me? Ah, uh, that was me. Dude, Bobo can redeeming himself. Hey, no Pepsi bottle? Is that still there? I went 459 to dead center. Oh. Yeah, I think I want to wait back one. and try to drive it more to center field. I don't know if you saw tonight yeah. during the real homer derby. A lot of guys were hitting balls to center. Yeah, TJ, I found that when I was practicing. Uh, wait a tad longer. You don't want to. You don't want to pull it too much. It's gonna be a deep fly out. No, don't drop me down the list. Oh, man, he's starting oh. to swing. Uh -oh. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Did. Ooh, are you the one that just went in the bullpen, Brian? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Barely made it. There's another one. That one's going maybe I'm, right back into it. I'm banging right things back off into the, the signs bullpen. above the bleachers in the left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we lost somebody. That's going to be the third right in that Don't area. Don't scrape the top of the wall. Get over. I just, I just went natural <laughs> into the light, the lighting in the left field stands. <laughs> Chris Carter hitting a lot of line drives, not getting a ton of distance. 476. I think that's my farthest one right now. Oh, I guess the... Uh... I think I may have found the, my game mode. This might be my thing. It's fun because it's quick. You know, we talk about quick, quicker experiences, right? And this is one that you can be engaged with other people in and right. uh, play for five to 15 minutes. And uh, it's just pure fun. Yeah, I did the, I, I did the count before. Uh, it's about 20 minutes if you go the whole way. And I'm not kidding when I say I played some home run derby. It was went into normal games and I was, I don't know if it was just like, confidence or something you coming off of hitting you know 15 home runs or whatever or, or you just you know get a rhythm really i just went oppo into the bullpen not that's nothing for chris carter <laughs> carter's got insane power Ooh, who hit that line drive uh -huh. Bomb at the right right field. Wasn't down me. the line. There was someone down the line. Not me. Stay fair. Stay fair. So. Get up. Get up. Yeah. Get up. Just get <sighs> under him. Just get under him. That's what I'm doing too. I think I'm overcompensating when there's a pitch low. There we go. Get out. Come on. That's gonna come up a few feet short too. Five oh six nice. to left center. Oh, I almost nailed the pitcher on that one. And see, I think I'm trying to get under it a little more too, going to right, going to left field. Yeah, because because of the wall, I'm worried about getting the wall. Oh, I'll tell you what, thirty seconds left. Chris Carter hit some low liners. Where am I? Oh, foul. Ugh. It's a high scoring round. A lot of people are despite hitting 13, 14, 15. Oh, 13. I just moved into the moved in the fourth. I hit one out uh, there. If you if you didn't hit one, I think you. No, but you were you were already up. I'm looking at there was a guy with Bryce Harper that I just missed and I know he hit one. No time left. I think I'm out. I think I'm out. Yeah, I'm out too. Damn. I think I advanced. TJ moves on. I believe me and, and Bobo. And Millennium moves on. Yeah. Uh, me, Bobo, and Millennium. Oh, wow. Man. Nice. Whew. Great work, gentlemen. Redemption time. Who's, right here. Our, who's our Bryce Harper? Uh, Rando. Dylan Avila. I don't know if he's in the chat. I'm going to say no. All righty. Well, that does it for me, guys. That was fun. Well Brian, thanks for coming on, as always. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Anytime. Thanks. Anytime, fellas. Take care. See you. Uh, Rock here in the chat. I did see you said, uh, didn't know we were WWE fans. Uh, I'm a 
I'm a WWE lifer. I, I absolutely love the WWE. So. I love all the WWE video games. And the old WWE <laughs> ones good. FS, FSU 2014 says Drew Brees can rake. Says he's a, he's a switch hitter. Yeah, I, I usually like watching a celebrity softball game. But no, I'm here. Please. Yeah. It reminds me of, do you remember? Rock and Jock? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I love Rock and Jock. I still have the memory of uh, Cecil Fielder asking for the Magic 8-Ball mm. and just destroying it. I took a pitch. Gotta get back, gotta get back on it, right? Huh. Uh, I have Jacob, to... Jacob, this won't be the last time we do this. I know you said that um, we didn't get you added in here. No, we did. He was in. This won't be the last time. He was in. Was he? Yep. 502, Chris Carter. He's a beast. All right, we need home runs. Yeah. <laughs> so, but 502 once is not going to do it. You got to get some more uh, bombs. 409, because I hit the stupid thing. <laughs> no. Ground to the shortstop. Oh, you did get in, Jacob. Gotcha. My bad. This is what I just told you. You just don't listen. I was listening. I he just said in the chat that he did get in. I know. I saw him. Get up. Get out. Get some. Forty nine. That'll do it. All right. Ooh, went down and got that one. Was that one a little bit? I'm a little bit inside to you, I guess, right? Uh, no, it was outside to me. Hmm. Who were you? Oh, no, um, yeah, Machado. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. A little outside and low. Yeah. I have to go down and get it. We gotta get this Dil We gotta get Dylan out of here. <laughs> Bobo, we gotta get you out of here too. Sorry, go, Bobo. go, 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 go. No, it didn't make it. Oh. What's going on, Bob? I can't hit anything past 450 with draw. He's got no power. I can't get the ball this time. What's going on, Gary? Welcome to the chat, man. And it's down to us three. No, I just went yard, so. Who took a pitch? It would be the... It would be Bobo. He was, he was just taking a pitch to reset. You gotta, trying to sometimes get his, you just got to reset. I'm not going to lie. TJ going light bank. 365? That doesn't feel like it's that far. Oh, Jacob was the other Bryce Harper that almost beat you. Ah. <laughs> Got it. <sighs> Bomb City, USA. Uh, pasta just left, Gary. Yep. Oh, against the blue, the green, the blue monster. I'm just changing Fenway. Another home run. home run? Yeah, crushing it. Oh, why they gotta be foul? Four seventy three? Wow, that's gotta go further than that, right? Uh oh. I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna reset. Get up! Get up! Get up. Oh, I need man. to. I reset. You guys both didn't hit home runs. We're good. It's all good, right? Oh, hit a hard grounder to short. <laughs> Does that count? Does that count for anything? We'll give you give you a couple of uh, decimal points for that one. You get the tiebreaker if need be. Oh no! Uh -oh. I'm falling apart. Bobo catching up. 10 10. Foul. No. Oh, Bobo. is Bobo going yard? I was going to eliminate me. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Another grounder short. Oh, grounder to short. I see it. Bobo pulled one foul. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> and, uh, he went straight left center. It went the deepest part of the park. There's no way I'm getting two shots, right? 
Unbelievable. Ousted again. Oh, there's Get another up, pitch. Ball. I didn't even swing. That's how bad I was. I was that's <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Didn't even swing. Uh, I think after this one, uh, we'll wrap it up for the night. Yes, that's absolutely. Ugh, that's painful. All right, bring it, Bob. But the question is, who do I get with my sixty grand? And stuff? I think you, I think you can't go wrong with Altuve. I, I do think there are other there are other second basemen. Did you see? But uh, the... I tweeted out some options. Okay, what were the options? Uh, let me look at that real quick. Chat, join in on this. Uh, TJ's going to give you some options. He's got how much do you have? Uh, it's like sixty-two grand. So it's sixty-two k in stubs. What does TJ get? Altuve was one of the options. I know that. Yeah. Let me, let me try to pull this up real quick. Uh, Jose Altuve. I, I did a Twitter poll. Four ninety four, by the way. Uh, did, did a Twitter poll. Thirty uh, percent said Jose Altuve. Twenty six percent said Bryce Harper. Thirty three percent said a combination of Syndergaard and Strasburg. And eleven percent said. Uh, the combination of no runs DMC and Scherzer. I do like Scherzer a lot. And I feel like getting three bullpen arms would not be bad. Yeah. And technically, I think I would have a little bit left over. I could probably do the whole Yankee set. You could probably flip your way back up, too. Yeah. So I don't know. You know who's like the most volatile player I've seen recently? Josh Donaldson. Yes. Some days he's like 40 grand, some days he's 60 grand. And I don't understand. Because yep. I had bought mine for 46, and then I sold him for like 54. And then I was happy because like two days later, he was in like the 40. He was like, you could buy him for like 40. And then yesterday he was back up to 60. And I think today he's like 46, 56 again. Man, Can I just say, is this might win this be twice? My, this might be my game mode. I think you found something you're good at. There we go, guys. Took a little bit. King of the Home Run Derby. Oh, now I'm hitting line drives to left center. Let's see what Bobby did with that one. That looks deep. Oh, did he get? Did he get up? Did he gone? It. Yeah, just grazed in there, didn't you? Stay fair. Stay fair. Hooking, hooking. Oh, foul ball. Uh, do we have an update on Snake Doctor's uh, tournament? Any idea how, how that's going? Uh, I have not had a chance to follow it. I know I saw Carl Dude in here for a minute. Um, I know he was in it. I know Paul's in it. Let's see if I can... I think they had, uh, like, what was it, like 56 guys made it to the finals? Yes, 56 guys. Going on right now. Let's... Uh, Baba, who is your all-time favorite MLB player? It's 8-8, eight, eight, by ben the way. Guy. Also, Bobo, speak into your microphone. Ben oh. Sheets? Yeah, Ben Sheets. I don't have any problem with that. I do like a Ben Sheets. Did he spend a hot minute with the Braves? Or am I lose my mind? I think he did. He had like a like an inner ear infection problem or something. He didn't pitch very much, but I think he was there for a minute. Ben Sheets, 4-4 four and four for the Braves in 2012. Get up, ball. He had a 347 ERA. 49 innings pitched, and then oh. he retired. Gary likes Doug Fister. Doug Fister, the uh, some would call him a poor man's Corey Kluber. I'm glad you remembered that. I was in there, mad going. I knew he was a poor man something. I don't remember what I called him. <laughs> uh, yeah, big fan. Actually, I'm I'm gonna go with you. I'm a big fan of uh, of Ben Sheets, just hampered by injuries. I think my favorite is I'm all time that I never saw live was probably Brooks Robinson. Mm -hmm. But so it's just, pretty obvious. So you're just making a, that choice up because you I'm a cat. No, no. I mean, I, I, no, an absolute favorite player. But going on somebody that I've actually seen play would be Cal, probably. Mm -hmm. Did I see Cal Do you play? Like this? I, I once saw uh, Sheets strike out 18 Braves. Don't tell me about that. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, favorite player, uh, Chipper Jones. Not really a question. Uh, questionable. I do have a picture of a bloody Nolan Ryan above me. Ooh, Nolan Ryan's a good choice. So, 
Didn't see him play. Saw a chipper play. Chipper's an amazing choice. Also, a great guy too. Jeff Francoeur play, so that's good. Says Bob Horner is his second all-time favorite. Bob Horner, wow. Uh, actually, can I? I'm going to pull an audible. Chipper Jones, yes. Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Brian Jordan. I do like Brian Jordan. Two sports star, Brian Jordan. Can I tell you my Brian Jordan star- story and why Tom Glavin will never be on this list? Get right ahead. Uh, Nineteen. 19- 90. Well, let's find out what year Brian Jordan was on the Braves. Uh, well, I went down to spring training. It was. It must have been either sometime between 99 and 2001. Uh, I can. Let me check these things. I think Mike Hessman was at spring training. So. I don't know what year it would have been. Somewhere. Oh, well, you know what? I know who the first baseman was. What about Crime Dog? You a Crime Dog fan? Eh, all right. Uh, it must have been 2000 because Andres Galarraga was at spring training. Manny Machado. Wanna, back-to-back wins. I, I want to state it. I am the home run derby king. I'll t- taking on all comers. Chris will, if you wanna, if you wanna come, Chris will take it. Uh, so, 2000, I'm down in uh, Orlando for spring training. Everybody's super nice. Uh, Brian Jordan, great guy. Uh, so what we did was, we did the little spring training thing. They had like a hit run stuff. They had all that stuff to go play around with. Uh, t- I think it was uh, Tiger Woods was so hot right now. Uh, during that, we went at like eight at the ESPN zone. Go back to the field, uh, the baseball field at the end of the day, and they're shooting uh, Power Raid. Not, com- I don't think it was commercials. I think it was just for like ads. So they were taking pictures and stuff. Uh, right. Like Brian Jordan, like Robin home runs, for, like setting up pictures and stuff. Brian Jordan, Tom Glavin, there, getting doing pictures. Uh, nice. So they're doing the thing, you know, trying not to bother them. There's a lot of these these creepy old guys. Like, trying to get autographs that you know they're just going to sell them. Uh, so that wasn't cool. But uh, Brian Jordan says, you know, we're just finishing up this. Give me a couple minutes and I'll come back over. Tom Glavin says the same thing. Uh, Tom Glavin finishes his photo shoot, goes into the dugout, never to be seen again. Uh, Tom Glavin, no longer on my good list. Uh, Brian Jordan finishes his photo shoot, comes over, literally signed everything I had with me. I think he signed a shirt, a hat, a ball. He signed like th- the, all of our tickets that we had for there. Nicest guy in the world. I still have all this autograph stuff. Nice guy in the world. I gotta see if that ball nice. signed by Andres Galarraga. Uh, but yeah, like he did not have to be that nice. He could have literally jumped into the du- ducked into the dugout and just ran out like uh, uh, like Lavin did. And then, right. Glavin, then Glavin ran to New York. Like, how do you play for the Braves and go to the Mets? I don't know. Tom Glavin, not one of my favorite guys. Uh, Brian Jordan, hell of a guy. Very good things. Like I said, two sports star. Um, I think he's a Baltimore guy, if I remember correctly. I mean, that's what you want to say. I don't want to be putting words into your mouths. Uh, he went to Milford Mill Academy. He is a Baltimore guy. Yeah. And I went to the University of Richmond. As I was stating, Baltimore guy, tell me about it. Home run, B- Baltimore guy, just like me, home run derby king. Mm. King of the derby. I don't know if Matter of fact, I'm going to go out and buy a derby hat and wear it from it, now on. Is that a thing? Yeah, a derby hat, right? Oh, like one of the, like a derby hat. Yeah, like a derby. Oh, I mean, you could do that. You could pull that off. I absolutely will. Uh, Chris, I just want to say thank you for uh, being here tonight and winning those two home run derbies. Thank you. We will uh, discuss payment afterwards. Uh, I mean, yeah, you owe me for throwing it so I didn't get to the finals against you. (laughs) Got it. Uh, Yeah, and we'll see you guys again back here next Monday uh, for another episode of Bullpen Banter, in which we will probably finally talk about the AL Central. Works for me. All right, so uh, now you guys can uh, get out of the bullpen and get into the game. Thank you, guys. We'll see you again next week. Take it easy, folks.